Your decodable reader this week is called Nan and Lad. Nan and Lad. Now, if you look at the front cover of the book, who do you think Nan and Lad are? There are lots of answers that it could be. I see a couple of dogs. I see three people. But I think since the book is showing us a close-up of this boy and this dog, that this is probably Nan and Lad. Now, before we start to read, I want to show you. This is a new high-frequency word. It's the word as, as. She was as quiet as a mouse, as. And the other high-frequency word is have. We've got so many words that start with that H and that A, right? We've got has and had, and now we have have, all right? Like I have a dog named Baker, have. All right, so let's take a look at our story, Nan and Lad by Tristan Horam and illustrated by Annie Matzik. Annie Matzik. Hey, we have an Annie in our class and it's spelled just like that. Now remember, if you want, instead of reading the book, you can also click listen and it will read the book to you. And both of those would be really good practice. You need to do it both ways. All right, Nan and Lad. I have Nan. Oh, my prediction was wrong, wasn't it? I thought that this was the dog that was going to be in the story. This dog is Nan. I have Lad. Wait a minute. My prediction was correct. I thought this was going to be the dog in the story. It is the dog in the story. But Nan and Lad are both of the dogs that we saw on the front cover. This is the same picture that was on the front cover of the book. And both of these dogs are in the story, Nan and Lad. Nan naps, Lad laps. Nan and Lad land, damp as Nan. Damp as lad. And do you remember our word damp? It was one of our vocabulary words, and it means that something is wet. All right, so read this book. I've included it on your McGraw-Hill app so that you'll be able to take a look at it and read it several times. And I've added another book for practice as well.